to the second season of What Up NIU. I'm your host, Mike Martin. For the next couple of minutes, I have a grand menagerie of information I need to unleash on you, from entertainment news to the winter wonderland that is NIU. Later, sports editor Chris Dirtz is going to join me to discuss the most important football game ever. In entertainment news, millions tuned in last Sunday to see the Golden Globes. They can also be viewed Wednesday nights on The Modern Family. Teen Mom 2 is in full stride and finally proves the point that condoms just aren't comfortable. But neither is divorce court and child support, so I know which one I picked. MTV has turned pregnancy into a game show, except the grand prize is regret and shame. And another thing, I'm going to have to start shopping at Aeropostle. They got great garbage bags, they hold trash very well, I think it's the, uh, the elastic ties. Speaking of using condoms, garbage, or regret and shame for that matter, Jersey Shore is out of remission with a third season. But I think this will be their last shot, and it should be gone in a couple weeks. All cleared up. With the holiday hangover well in effect as we sit in the icebox that is DeKalb, spring could not come quicker. With parking situations about as easy as sitting on a barbed wire toilet seat, we often resort to the sweaty meat wagons we call buses. I know, I know, at least we have buses, right? But we're packed so deep, we might as well cross a border before we go to class. Let's see what NIU thinks. Well, basically, there's such a lack of transportation in DeKalb. There's only the Husky bus and Transvag. So it's very frustrating when I'm outside in the cold waiting for the bus, and then I can't get on because it's too crowded. It makes me really angry. I think we need a couple more buses going on these routes. Where I stand, there's supposedly three buses that come my way, but sometimes I wait 18 minutes outside in the cold waiting for a bus. It's so hot on the buses, man. I be want the thing, for real. Now to sports. Friends, family, Ladies and gentlemen, sports fans across the nation, the time has come. My beloved Chicago Bears are set to face off against their arch rival, the Green Bay Packers, this Sunday for the chance to play in the Super Bowl. I'm going to get ready right now. That is a lot better. I think it looks good. I'm so excited, I might have just pooped my pants. I got a great guest coming on, sports editor Chris Dirtz. Chris, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing Okay. You doing all right? Did you poop your pants too? Cause uh, yeah, a little, yeah, just a little bit. Is it true that Packer fans marry their cousins? Cause I hope you have a hot cousin. Cause I hear that's what happens to Packer fans. I don't. It's just it's something that you have to learn to deal with. You gotta kind of adapt as you grow up and realize just what the implications of being a Packer fan are. But it's a lifelong commitment. It you is know, a commitment, commitment to greatness. Unlike what the Bears have, they just have basically a, a commitment to smelliness. Have you ever been near Soldier Field? Chris, let's get to the game. How much are the Packers going to lose by? Well, Packers opened as a minus three favorite, so I think they're probably going to lose by about minus three, which means they're going to win by a field goal. Now, when he says minus three, that is the spread, and we're not talking about cheese spread. That is the points they're laying. And in Vegas, a lot of action is on the Packers with due respect. you got Aaron Rodgers. If he has all sorts of time, he might light up that secondary, and that's where it starts with the defensive front. We're going to need pressure up front by the Bears to get in his face and force the checkdowns. How do you see the offense for the Packers faring against the defense? The first and most important key matchup is going to be the Bears' offensive line against the Packers' front seven of their defense. Okay. Packers don't have the consistent big play capabilities that the Bears do on defense. They don't create as many turnovers, mm -hmm. but the Packers are much more consistent in stopping the run. The other matchup that's really going to be important is Aaron Rodgers' feet against the conditions of Soldier Field. The field conditions is going to be cold, it's going to be slippery, and there's just going to be people flying all over. One thing for sure, it's Bears Packers, and I have to challenge you to a slap bet because I hate you. <laughs> no, we got to bet a little bit here. I hate him. One slap next week on What Up NIU. You in? I'll up the Annie. How about a backhand slap? You got a deal, my friend. Don't miss it next week. I'm going to slap Chris in the face with the back of my hand. Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the league. What up, NIU?